Eighth grade, open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson 21, cylinders, cones, and spheres. Problem number one. A scoop of ice cream has a 1.5 inch radius. How tall should the ice cream cone of the same radius be in order to contain all the ice cream inside the cone? Substitute the R with 1.5. This equation represents the volume of the scoop of ice cream. And using the formula for finding the volume of the cone, we substitute the R with 1.5. And we use these two equations for the system of equations. The volume of the scoop of ice cream will be equal to the volume of the cone. Next, we set it up so we can solve for h, the height of the cone. Since we need to get h by itself, we need to divide both sides by 1 third times pi times 1.5 squared. That will leave us with h on the right hand side, the height of the cone. What we're left with on the left hand side is dividing fractions. And remember, when we divide fractions, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. And what we're left with is 4 times 1.5, or 4 times 1 and a half, which is 6. The height of the cone would have to be 6 inches in order to contain all the ice cream. Problem number 2. Calculate the volume of the following shapes with the given information. For the first three questions, give each answer both in terms of pi and by using 3.14 to approximate pi. Make sure to include units. A. Sphere with a diameter of 6 inches. The radius is half the diameter, so we'll substitute the r with a 3. 4 divided by 3 cancels out one of the exponents, so now we have 4 times pi times 3 to the second power. And 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, which is 9. We can rearrange the order. 4 times 9 equals 36, so the volume equals 36 times pi. That's in terms of pi. Using 3.14 to approximate pi, 36 times pi, or 36 times 3.14, equals 113.04. The volume of a sphere with diameter 6 inches would be 113.04 cubic inches. B. Cylinder with a height of 6 inches and a diameter of 6 inches. Using the formula to find the volume of a cylinder, we can substitute the R with half the diameter. Half the diameter would be 3, and we can substitute the H with a 6. 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 6 is 54. So the volume of this cylinder would be 54 times pi. And using 3.14 to approximate pi, the volume of the cylinder would be 169.56 cubic inches. C. Cone with a height of 6 inches and a radius of 3 inches. Using the formula to find the volume of a cone, we can substitute the R with 3 and substitute the h with 6. 3 squared, or 3 times 3, is 9, and 9 times 6 is 54. In terms of pi, the volume of this cone is 1 third pi times 54. Using 3.14 to approximate pi, the volume of this cone is 56.52 cubic inches. Because 1 third of 54 is 18, and 18 times 3.14 is 56.52. D. How are these three volumes related? When they have the same height and the same radius, the volume of the cone plus the volume of the sphere equals the volume of the cylinder. The volume of the sphere was 113.04 and the volume of the cone was 56.52. If you add those together, you get the volume of the cylinder, which is 169.56. Problem number three. A coin-operated bouncy ball dispenser has a large glass sphere that holds many spherical balls. The large glass sphere has a radius of nine inches. Each bouncy ball has a radius of one inch and sits inside the dispenser. 
If there are 243 bouncy balls in the large glass sphere, what proportion of the large glass sphere's volume is taken up by bouncy balls? Explain how you know. The radius of the large glass sphere is 9 inches, so we can substitute the R with a 9. And 9 times 9 times 9 equals 729. 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 729, 243 times. 4 times 243 is 972, so the volume of this large glass sphere is 972 times pi. Using 3.14 to approximate pi, we get 3052.08 cubic inches. The volume of the large glass sphere is 3052.08 inches cubed. Now we need to find the volume of the bouncy balls. Since the bouncy balls have a radius of 1, we can substitute the R with a 1. The volume for each bouncy ball would be 4 thirds times pi times 1, or 1.3 repeating times 3.14. The volume for each bouncy ball would be 4.186 cubic inches. Since there's 243 bouncy balls inside the glass sphere, we need to multiply 243 times 4.186 cubic inches, and we get 1,017.36 cubic inches. The total volume of all 243 bouncy balls divided by the volume of the large glass sphere is about 33.3% so about 33% of the space is taken up by the bouncy balls. Problem number four from eighth grade unit five lesson 13. A farmer has a water tank for cows in the shape of a cylinder with a radius of seven feet and a height of three feet. The tank comes equipped with a sensor to alert the farmer to fill it up when the water falls to 20% capacity. What is the volume of the tank when the sensor turns on? Since the radius is 7 and the height is 3, we can substitute the R with a 7 and the H with a 3. 7 times 7 times 3 times pi equals 461.58 feet cubed. 20% of 461.58 is 92.316. When the sensor turns on, the volume of the tank will be at 92.316 cubic feet. If you haven't already, now's a good time to subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.